ครับครับก็สวัสดีช่องของเราติ้งติ้งติ้ง Hello 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 my beautiful lovely angels this is Jeff from the Philippines the a m r e a c t o r and if you do have some videos guys that you want me to react let me know down in the comments below because we're gonna go ahead and talk there and today I am coming with you guys with another video coming from the b e a n i e b e a n i e Filipinas YouTube channel guys and this is the b e a n i e b e a n i e Filipinas 2021 National Fashion Fashion Show and I thought that I never. Reacted, or I will never react it on this because I already saw the i r presentation already. Wow, I never thought that they will be having this kind of um, fashion show, and I'm really excited, guys, to watch it with you, and I cannot wait. <coughs> But then, as guys, wanna say hi to you guys. How are you guys doing today? I do hope they do have a wonderful day today. My name is Jet from the Philippines, the Emory actor, and if you're new to my channel, and if you haven't subscribed yet, you can go ahead and click on the subscribe button down there. Yes, the red button is subscribing. Don't forget to click on the channel bell, represent the subscribe button, so that you get notified once I upload a video. And also, guys, let me in the comments as well. What are your favorite videos that you want me to react next? And also, if you like this video as well, don't forget to share this video to your friends and loved ones. And lastly, please do help me reach 24,000 subscribers by the end of this month. So please. Do help me with that, okay? And I cannot wait to see these guys. And so, without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> I love this costume because the pops of the color red, blue, and white. You know, the 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 overlook, the overall look is. Hold on. The overall look of this particular um costume, guys, is, you know, speaking gold. I love it. One thing for sure, I really love it, guys. Oh my god. That. Hi, her crown is like uh, destroyed. Oh, from Marikina, Bini Bini 2, Lois and m a d a n d o designer Ryan June Mariano Castillo, k u l i b a n g b a n or Butterfly, is inspired by the indigenous tribe in northern Luzon. This ethnic dress is meticulously weaved in Baguio City Ooh. and showcases the rich craftsmanship and right. vibrant tradition of the Northern Tribe. From Marikina, b i n i b i Well, overall, the the color is really good. The 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 color combination, the embellishments, guys. Oh my God! And also, I haven't. Reacted or I haven't watched the entire um, national costume presentation, guys. I saw some of the clips of it, and I think some of it, like I, I think I stopped on the 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 river girl, like with the gold. Oh my god, I love that particular. But this one, I haven't seen it. So yeah, I love it so much. Me too, Lois and Madame. Oh. That. This must be heavy. This must be heavy. Oh, let's look at that. I love it. Beanie Beanie Three from Manila, Patricia Maria Garcia, designer I... Chico Estiva, inspired by the image of. Child Jesus. This national costume symbolizes a deep faith of Filipinos. She's really like a queen. Its color tells us the stories of the heroes of Tungo, mm -hmm. who shed blood and bravely fought the Spaniards oh. in the Battle of m a n g u s a i oh. From Manila, Bini Bini Three, Patricia, Maria Garcia. For me, this costume is really good. It 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 is really regal. 
she's beautiful oh my god i really wish that her like the ball gown on her dress would like make like bigger it's not that good it's not that bad it's just that uh okay something like that don't get bash me with this my god oh it's beautiful but like my expectations are really high on this one when i saw this particular costume Ah, Terno. This Terno is inspired by Pampanga's traditional parol, an ornamental, star-shaped Christmas lantern. It okay. symbolizes the victory of light over darkness and is a testament to the Filipino people's resiliency amidst difficult times. Uh -huh. From San Fernando, Pampanga, Bini Bini 4, Ariane. Okay, one more, one thing that I've noticed, guys. Why, why this like tassel? Overall, um, Terno dress is really good, but like I, I have one thing, guys. I've noticed. Why is it like the back brace is like popping up? I don't know. Girl, let me know the comments, guys. Okay, but yeah. <laughs> I, mm, mm, I, oh, mm. So this is the inspired look of the parol. I really wish that her headdress would like speak parol. Because her dress, I mean the, her train speaks parol. But like her headdress or headpiece is not speaking parol. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah. Like the color gold is not really... Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. I I remember this was um, in the top of the hill. First of all, okay, this is one of one of one I noticed, guys. One is why she's not wearing, um, what do you call it, heels or something. Two, the color of her pants, like the color of her pants, was really off compared from from upper and then the the train. Like look at that, oh, oh. From waist up, it's really beautiful, but waist down, <laughs> no. Oh, look at that! They just designed the pants with uh, on the on the bottom part. Mm. They remember her. Correct if I'm wrong, guys. This is one of the national costume that was filmed in a subdivision. Am I correct? Oh <laughs> my god! But then again, I really wish that she, she, okay, she filmed her presentation. I love the the backstory of this one, but like, I really wish that she didn't um, film in her subdivision i really wish that she went to monumento to film it because
Let me shut up. Mm -mm. Let me shut up. Eek. My God. Eek. But this is really beautiful. Oh? At first, I thought what? Oh, my, my mother Marjorie. Majorette. Sorry. Cruise. Designer. Mani Halasan. Ay. This national costume is inspired by Lahapani, mm. the goddess of agriculture and fertility. Mm. Its wings resemble those of a dragonfly. Yeah. Symbolizing new beginnings. The gown is embellished with French lace, mm. brass, pearl rhinestones, and Swarovski crystals. Bini Bini 7. From Valenzuela, Meiji Cruz. It's really beautiful. And it must be heavy. Oh? I think without the headpiece, the 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 neck piece and also this part of the hair, this is really simple terno. Yeah. It's really simple terno. Ah, okay. I love this. Patricia Denise Babista. Mm -hmm. Designer DJ Abustan. This outfit is a fusion of the Bahias and New Yugan festivals Yu -Yu of Kazan oh. Province. The skirt is embellished with handcrafted coconut shells and colorful keeping. Keeping it. The warm and creativity of the people in the province. Mm -hmm. Right. From Kazan Province. My Patricia. God. I love it. Oh, look at that. Without the headpiece or like a small headpiece only, I think it will be good. But then, like, overall, it's really, I love it. Oh, ah. she really looks tall. I love it. I love it. She looks like Pia Wurzbach. No? Oh my god. I love it. Bini Bini Tan from yeah. Malacas, ah. Maureen and Latain. Designer, Nick Guarino. Call of the Hanibis. This national costume reflects the rich history and culture of Matangas. Mm -hmm. Its intricate details represent the precious jewelry and other accessories traded by the Lacanades with other Asian kingdoms oh during the 14th century. Ten from Matangas, Marie and Montaigne. Oh my god. Oof. My god, my god, my god. The headpiece, it must be heavy. Yeah. Oh. Oh my God. Beautiful. And oh my God. Oh my God. Let's let's just talk about. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let's just talk about the 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 pink um footwear. Oh my God. Like <laughs> the details. Oh my God. The details. I love it. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bini Bini 11 from Opawe Bulahan. Bianca Luis Marcelo. Designer Paulo Blanco. 
this costume is inspired by Sari Manok, Sari Manok yeah. a mythical creature of Philippine folklore. The yellow Philippine Yana gown represents hope and joy amidst the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Its designer employed unique embroidery technique from Pukawe called Kadinema. I think for the past three years, most of the Philippines um, national costume guys is like birds, and then with the wings here, or like the there are like birds in the shoulders. If you notice this. Oh my god. Belleza de Oro or Beauty of Gold. Mm -hmm. This gown is done with golden scales which represent the golden coconut called Kuyamis, oh. which is the namesake of an annual festival in Cagayan de Oro uh -huh. that celebrates good harvest. Okay. Bini Bini 12 from Cagayan de Oro, Misamis Oriental, Cinderella, Faye Obenita. This national costume here is really good. Again, this is the last part that I stopped watching. After this, all of it, guys, are first ever impression. But this go this girl here is really good. Oh my god. The, the, the backdrop is river. My god, I thought that she was a mermaid. But then again, I've, I've, I've learned that it's a different, um, we call it different um, take. On this one I love the scale you know the, the the frontal piece here and also the 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 what do you call it the shoulder piece guys you can really really tell that it is a glue gun and sprayed with a gold gold paint it's like more on the DIY but then again the overall guys oh my god I love it this is one of my best national costume that I've ever seen so far, so let's go and dive in. <laughs> Ooh. Look at that. I love it. Oh, look at that. The, the details, guys. I really wish that her hair would like curls it at the back. Alexandra May Rosales, designer Richard Pareto. This national costume is called Ani Nang Laguna, Ani. a traditional dress made of manik and adorned with wooden beads in different shapes and sizes. Uh -huh. Its fluorescent colors are a tribute to a local festival in Laguna uh -huh. as Thanksgiving for a bountiful harvest. Binibini 13 from Laguna. Alexandra A. Rosales. Oh. Okay. Hey. Okay. okay. I don't know. Like, okay. Like, it's giving me okay. But I really wish that um, she used an LED lights. Good thing that they the lights were like more and turned off. Huh? More like on the DIY. Huh? From Padada Davao del Sur, Bini Bini 14, Justin Beatrice Felizarta, uh -huh. designer, Jobs Australia, uh -huh. name Paglalakbay or Journey. This ensemble oh. is inspired by the Binda, a traditional sailboat Binda. of the Oro and Sama Bajau tribes. It is a simple Where's the Binta? and migration. Oh my god, so there's the Vinta guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> this is really good. I love it. Wait, 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 the details are, is it beaded? Like the, 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 the color gold. Is that really beaded? 
Oh, it's really be dead, my god. Oh, look at that. I love it. I love it. Bini Bini 15 from Indiana. Young. Karen Lori Mendoza. Designer, Ata Binuela. Mm -hmm. This Bulalajo inspired national costume oh. portrays a deity from the form of a gigantic shining bird. Uh huh. This costume is adorned with fiery red feathers that symbolize the Ilongos wisdom and strength. Ay, my God. Ay. Uh, oh, my God. I love it. Okay, this costume, guys, really reminds me of, like, the Venezuela, Panama um, national com national costume, guys, that they presented in a various um, um, com competition. But, wow, this is really good. I love it. Oh? Like, look at that. Oh, oh my god. This, the headpiece, it must be heavy. Ah! From Balectas Mulahan, Bini Bini 16, Kimberly, and Tikes Tikes. Wait, it reminds Design. me of like that. Marvin Garcia. Drink me. masterpiece embodies the Queen of Philippine Festivals. Uh huh. Flores de Maria. Oh, Flores de Maria. Or Kinayas the Hawaiian is adorned with flowers and crystals that epitomize the thriving jewelry industry of Makawayan Bulahan. Oh my god. From Palagtas Bulahan, Bini Bini 16, Kimberly, and Tikes Tikes. Oh my god. Bravo. Oh my god. Kabonga oi. Look, look at that. Ay, my God. Ay, my God. Pinag-isipan. Oh, my God. Oh? I love it. Bini Bini 17 from Maspate. Maspate. Hannah Arnold. Designer, Luis Pangilinan. Inspired by the Bulaklakan Festival, Bulaklakan. this national costume is a hand-embroidered ball gown embellished with hand-painted and recycled 3D flower art Ooh. enhancing a bun or a bamboo arch decorated with vibrant flowers Ay, my. from Maspati Bini Bini 17 Ay, my god. Hannah Arnold oh my god uh, okay so this is what I'm this is what I have been telling you guys if you are going to do a ball gown just like this, uh, just like the other one, the first one that I mentioned earlier, like her ball gown is like, like but this one here, it really speaks ball gown. My god, the pink, the pink um, accent. Oh my god, oh my god, I love it. Oh my god, I love it. Mm, one of the best national costumes. Oh? Look at that! Ah, okay, hold on. Did you ever hear there's like a woo? There's, there's like a howling of the dog. Oh my god. <sighs> yeah, let me know in the comments case if you like if you heard like the howling of the dogs. <laughs> From Nueva Ecija, Bini Bini 18, Maria Ruth Erica Quinn. Designer Malt? Erjan de la Serna. This outfit pays homage to the rice granary of the Philippines. Uh -huh. Nueva Ecija. It is adorned with beads that resemble palai or rice grains. The train represents the vast rice fields of the province, rice fields, as uh -huh. well as the persistence and hard work of Novo Esihanos. Mm. Bini Bini 18 from Nueva Ecija, Aye. Maria Ruth Erica Quinn. Aye. Okay, without that train, I think that her costume will stand up. 
Pick up the train. Remove the train. Well, it's good. It remove the train. I'm good. It's just that I really wish that the palai, like the 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 palai grain here, really wish that it will be more like five at least five or something. I don't know. It's good. It's just that the 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 that palai would uh, like give like at least five more. Remove the train. It's good. It's really good for me. It's good. I mean, I'm not complaining, but like, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Who is this? Kalesa? Oh my god. The look at that. Eastern Samar, Gabriel Camille Bashano, designers Ken Batino and Jevin Salaisai. Oh this God. national costume resembles the Kalesa, a Filipino traditional carriage. Uh -huh. Its bright gold color is a reference to Borongan Eastern Samar, also oh. known as the City of Golden Sunrise. It is adorned with Banig, a oh major my product God. of the province. Bini Bini 19 from Borongan Eastern Samar, Gabriel Camille Bashano. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It reminds me of the national costume of Thailand way back in 2016. The Tuk Tuk. It reminds me of that. Like, girl, look at that. Her hair is like a you know, you know, grande hair, my god. I love it. It's simple. And look at that, guys. Look at, look, look at this. Look at this. Major product the, the, oh? I don't know how tall she is, but like, it really speaks. Legs, legs, legs. And how she walks. It's like. Mmm. <sniffs> Oh my god, I love it. I love it. The mechanism of the wheels. Oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ah. <gasps> one of the best. One of the best. My god, one of the best. And Eastern Samar, also oh? known as the City of Golden Sunrise. Look at it that. is adorned with Banig, a major product of the province. Bini Bini 19 from Borongan Eastern Samar. Gabriel Camille Bashano. Oh my god. Oh god. Legs, legs, legs. Oh my god. Arena Grande meets Philippines. Bini Bini 20 from Rojas Isabella. Lovely Mercado. Designer Roy Aquino. Ooh. This costume is inspired by the Terno worn Terno. by former First Lady Doña Trinidad Rojas. When she was Philippine Carnival Queen of 1920, ah. the town of Rojas in Isabela was the first municipality in the country named after former President Manuel Rojas. Rojas. Bini Bini 20 from Rojas, Isabela. Lovely Mercado. Madame. Madame. Mm -mm, madame na madame. Ay, oh my God. Madame na madame. Oh? Bini Bini 21 from La Union, Karina Carillo, <gasps> designer Don Cristobal. Oh. This national costume Pearl? portrays a water deity emerging from the sea. Ah. The silver terno depicts fishing nets, while the shell casts an illusion of the giant waves of La Union uh -huh. that make this coastal province the surfing capital of the north. Mm -hmm. Bini Bini 21 I from love La Union, it. Karina. Oh my god, I love this. I thought it's like a pearl, but like god, I love it. I really wish that they did, uh, they also paint the back piece of her dress. Look at that. <gasps> oh my god. From Pampanga, Serena Giao. 
designers, oh. Ferdinand Mahoy Elipani and Oblong Paras. Oh my God. This ensemble is mostly made of Dasi or Bani, Bani and is meticulously handcrafted by the Aidas in the Boclod, Florida Blanca, Pampanga. Oh. It pays homage to Pampanga's patroness, the miraculous Perejen de los Remedios. Wow. Bini Bini 22 from Pampanga. I love Serena it. Serena Yao. The piece, the red piece, remove it and re or remove the color red. Well, again, I don't mind at all, but like, I, they, I think they call red my pick makes them pop. But I really wish that they just re painted it like gold or something. It's really good. I mean, Bini Bini 23 from Albay. Albay. Jasmine Lindy Makulangan. Oh. Designer Marvin Baloloy. Fire. This national costume is inspired by Taragang Bagayon. The female protagonist of the legend of Mount Mayon. This outfit is accentuated with flames that represent mm -hmm. the scorching passion between star-crossed lovers, Magayon and Panoron. Oh my god, the, the, the oh? three from Albay, Jasmine, Lindy Mahulangan. I love this costume. My god. Oh? Oh? The pieces, the embellishments, the oh. Oh From Angeles City Pampanga, Maria Francesca Tarup. Wow. Bini Bini 24. Designers, Rich Sabinian and Kevin Kayana. Oh my god, well done. La Luz de la Paz, or Light of Peace. This national costume represents the traditional Christmas symbol in Angeles City. Uh -huh. The distinct Parul Angeles or Angeles Lantern. Uh -huh. Known to bring hope and prosperity. Oh my From god. From Angeles City, Bambanga. This Bini is really beautiful. Oh Maria my god. Francesca Tarum. Oh. What the fudge. I love it. It's really expensive. Mmm. I have one question. We do have a really beautiful, okay? Beautiful national costume, but why they did not present it in the in the, you know, prestigious national co uh, na um, national costume like in the Miss Earth, uh, Miss Universe, uh, Miss International, Globe. Why do you have <laughs> Why if someone tells me that, guys, let me know in the comments. My God. <sighs> oh? It's really expensive. Bini Bini 25 from Rizal. Oh. Honey Grace Campasano. Designer. Wow. Paolo Balesteros. Oh. This is an interpretation of the traditional Maria Clara costume Maria Clara. done in the form of the giants of Angolos Gigantes Festival. Gigantes? It is made from the native Pina fabric uh -huh. and highlights the rich culture of the province Gigantes. of Rizal. Then why there's no, there's, there's no face? From Rizal, honey, Grace Cartasano. This is really big. Uh. Oh my god. The LED, my god. And... There you go. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm speaking too soon. <laughs> okay, there you go. The face. <laughs> oh my god. I love this. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh. That. Oh. Oh my god. I love it. I love it. Bini Bini 26 from Araya Pampanga. Nuriza May Valerio. Designer Rian Fernandez. This creation is inspired by the mythical goddess of Mount Araya Maria Sinukuan. A Kapampangan sun goddess of war, uh -huh. known for her kinship to animals. This ensemble mirrors Pampanga's moniker. As a country's haven for nomadic birds. Mm -hmm. Bini Bini 
96 from Araya Pampanga, Noriza, May Valerio. Remove the train, remove the train, or like change the color of the train, and then put some add feathers in the headdress. Good. From Oriental Mindoro, Bini Bini 27, Graciela Liman, designer. Jomel Kalma. Oh my god. She is a female centurion who demonstrates the valiant and heroic qualities of again? a Filipina. This costume is Roman inspired uh -huh. with tunic and vivid metallic embellishments reminiscent of characters in the Passion of the Christ. Right. Bini Bini 27 from Oriental Mindoro, wow. Graciela Liman. Wow, 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 wow. Oh my god, she is really a warrior. I love it. Oh? I think if you gonna put something and remove it, it will be good, I think, no? Danica, Joy Acuna, designer, Mike Pearl. Name Perlas Nang Silangana. Ah. This pearl adorned national costume is a reflection of Roblon Cerulean waters. Oh my god. The headpiece is an oyster shell that conceals a lustrous gem, which represents the hidden beauty of the province. Bini Bini 28 from Roblon, Danica Joy Acuna. My god, you guys, I love it. Ugh. Oh? The mermaid scale. From Olongapo City, Bini Bini 29, Alexandra Maid Garcia, designer Jory Lopez Limpay. This national costume portrays the legend of Olongapo. It is a dove warrior ensemble that oh. tells a story of a beheaded clan leader, we which is dead. believed to be the origin of the name Olongapo City. Oh. Bini Bini 29, from Olongapo City, Alexandra Faith Garcia. Ah, nice. Nice background story. Nice story. Love it. From Cebu, Bini Bini 30. Oh. Mercedes Pear. Pear. Designer, Moy Subihano. This is a costume oh. inspired by the Filipino folk dance, Pulaklaha. Pulaklaha. Or dance of flowers. Mm -hmm. The beautiful gown is accessorized with a garland of flowers attached to an arch made of bamboo to gracefully give honor to the Virgin Mary. Bini uh, Bini 30 from Cebu, Mercedes Fair. First time that I was able to see a representative from Cebu that don't speak, or they speak, like uh, her national costume doesn't speak like um, what I call it doesn't speak like a Cebuano, um, Santo Nino, or like a festival, any festivals here in Cebu. Hmm. Okay. I like the good take of the Bloklakan festival or Bloklakan, and um, they call it Bloklakan folk dance. Hmm. Okay. Right. I really wish that she would bold gown. I don't know, but yeah. First time that I wasn't able to see, like, it didn't shout like a Cebu. Sorry. Well, that's fine. Oh, God. Silio Batangas, Micah Rosal, 
Hi. Designer, Chico Estiva, and Manny Alasan. This national costume pays tribute to Mother Mary as a savior of Batangas during the recent Taal volcano eruption. Uh -huh. The red color represents the burning desire of Patanguenos to rise from the ashes of devastation. Mm -hmm. Bini Bini 31, from Agoncillo, Batangas, Maika Rosal. Mm. Huh? I really wish that they, they put it like a sequent. All of it. From Tagum City, Bini Bini 32, Leslie Anticaro. Oh. Designer, Mark Joseph Saya. This national costume shows the flourishing and abundant culture of 11 tribes of Mindanao. Okay. Symbols of the Tinala, of the Timor, and Inaul of Makindanawan were incorporated in this Waling Waling couture gown. Waling Waling? Okay. Why is it the petal in the bottom part is different from the petals at the back? Why? Okay. Tagum City, Leslie and Nicaro. Oh, the oh. Oh. Ah, okay. Okay, so that, that does make sense. It's just that I really wish that the uh, the color of the petals are the bottom part is different from the Bini bottom Bini part, upper part. Bellatrix Stan, designer, Eric Minoza. This national costume depicts wow. Princess Naya, a royal princess of the Subanin tribe. Wow. It is adorned with black crystals that mirror the valor of a warrior princess. Wow. It is believed that this black garment can shield people against the effect of the eclipse. Ooh. Mini Mini 33 from Zamboanga. Wow. Bellatrix Stan. Wow, 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 wow. I love it, guys. My God. Oh? From Sultan Kudarat, Bini Bini 34, Honey de Pareñas. Warrior. Designer, R.L. Umalde. Mm -hmm. This ensemble is a regal suit that depicts Sultan Kudarat, a Muslim ruler who reigned in the Sultante of Maguindanao. The details and patterns of this outfit were hand beaded and individually attached to the native Itapun fabric. Ah, uh, okay. Bini Bini 34 from Sultan Kudarat, Honey de Pareñas. I love it. She is a Sultan, Sultan Princess. Oh? Oh, that's it. There you have it. That's Ladies it. And